When we do the egg retrieval, the eggs are looked under the microscope for the maturity of the eggs. There are four different levels of maturity of an egg. A germinal vesicle egg, which is very immature, a metaphase one egg, and a metaphase two egg is the mature egg, or there's a tretic or post-mature egg. We can only use metaphase two or M2 eggs for the process of fertilization. The embryologist looks under the microscope at the maturity of the egg at the time of egg retrieval. The eggs are then incubated from four to six hours before the process of ICSI is done. The process of ICSI is selecting one sperm to inject into one egg for the process of fertilization. The fertilization process can be evaluated approximately 24 hours after the ICSI procedure. At this time, we see a nucleus of the genetic material from the egg and the nucleus from the genetic material of the sperm. This is called a pronuclei stage. After 24 hours, the pronuclei or the fertilized egg then divides into an embryo, and an early embryo with two cells is called a zygote. After 48 hours, the zygote of two cells then divides into four cells. On day three of embryonic development, the embryo can now have approximately six to ten cells. This is a picture of an eight cell embryo. Approximately 50% of day three eight cell embryos will divide into a day five blastocyst. A day three embryo then divides into a morula on day four and an early blastocyst or a fully expanded blastocyst on day five or six of embryonic development. The blastocyst has a grading system that looks at the inner cell mass, which will form the embryo, and the outer cells called the trophectoderm, which will form the placenta. The grading scale is on a scale of A, B, or C. A being fully expanded and A being fully enriched of cells of the trophectoderm. B is still good and C is a smaller inner cell mass and fewer cells on the periphery of the blastocyst. The blastocyst is also graded on the expansion on a scale of one to five and when the blastocyst is hatching out of the outer zone here, it is grade six, a hatching blastocyst. We consider this embryo fully expanded and a, a lush inner cell mass and cells. This is an example of a 5AA embryo.